Looks like mid-70s by then. All right, Jim, thank you. No matter where you turn, somebody's trying to scam you for your hard-earned money, whether it's through your email or your phone or even right at your front door. Your money could be at risk at any time. New Tonight Wake News reporter Taylor Bisaki is showing you the hottest scams targeting your pocket right now. Lee County Sheriff's Office fraud line. If a scammer contacted you, you're not alone. Overall, every year it's more and more. The Sheriff's Office fraud line received more than 7,000 calls and emails combined in 2017. Blew up my phone. It was crazy. Karen Bean is one of the fraud line callers. A DirecTV customer service number called her saying they want to save her money. Finally, I called DirecTV and I'm like, what's going on? You know, I'm receiving phone calls. And she told me that they had got like 400 phone calls at already. DirecTV also told her they don't make outbound calls. While Bean didn't fall victim to the scam, she says it's convincing. They called me by my name which is scary that they knew my name because my voicemail doesn't ha say my name. They were good. Let's put it this way. They were good. This is just one of many scams circulating Southwest Florida. It's the same stuff, though. You know, it's the IRS, the grandparent scam in particular, um, hit Southwest Florida hard. Other popular scams in Lee County include computer hacking, phishing calls, and lottery sweepstakes. If you received any of these messages, the sheriff's office wants to know. We want people to call. We want to hear your story. It may be a 10 minute conversation. It may be just you saying, I got this for the 10th time. And when it does happen, delete it and don't click and don't engage with it. Don't call it back. Don't ever give away your social security number and any of that personal information. Taylor Bisaki, Wink News, now. And this time of year, as you start filing your taxes, be extra careful. The sheriff's office says they received the most fraud calls, including IRS scams, in February and April last year. They also say downloading the latest software on your phone and computer helps to protect against hackers.